Hello everyone. We will introduce how to do the project creation in this session through example. Now this is the example. Basically we have the cost information for a given project where the cost for the project is $12,000 per week as long as the project lasts. And uh, we are given the information of the activity relationship, duration of each activity, and also next page we'll see the crashing information. And we need to determine the optimal crashing plan, and also by the end to calculate the total cost for the plan. Now, the cost information of the crashing potential are given in this table, where we list each activity and uh, the crashing potential. Basically, that is what is the most number of weeks that we can crash each activity. And also we have the corresponding per week to crash on each activity. Now very special is activity two. Activity two, the cost to crash a week is $3,000 for the first week. But for the other weeks, or the if we want to crash more than one week, then the rest crashing cost will be 4,000 per week. Now, how to do the crashing? The first step is we need to calculate the past time. And also, the reason we do it is we need to identify the critical paths. So we have three paths in this project, A, B, C, D, and E, F. And the time we spend on each path is also calculated here. From the calculation, we see that the path A, B has time of 24 weeks, which is the longest. So this is the critical path of this project. So why do we need to identify the critical path? Because we know the time we spend on critical path basically determines the time or the duration of the project. If we want to crash, we may, we may want to reduce the project duration, which means if we only crash those activities that is not on the critical path, it will not reduce the project duration. So this is the first criteria or the rule we need to follow in the project crashing, which is all the crashing should be happened on the activities that is on the critical path, not others. So we identify the critical path now for this problem is path A, B. So A and B are the potential activities that we should crash. Now, how does crash? We mentioned that we need to crash it by one time unit at a time. So we try to crash only one week from this problem. Now, we need to rank the crashing cost of the critical path activities, which are B or A and B now. We rank them B, the first week the crashing cost is 3,000. And uh, activity A, the crash cost will be 11,000. So of course, we pick the lowest cost one, which is activity B. So our first crash will be activity B. We crash it for a week. We spend 3,000. And remember, for every week we spend on the project, the cost is 12,000. So we basically received 9,000. We spend the 3,000 and saved 12,000. Next, we need to be careful here is, after we crash the activity B time for one week, the path A, B time is reduced from 24 weeks to 23 weeks. So it means after we crash B for one week, now we have two critical paths. Because path A, B and path E, F both have 23 weeks. Now, the, this is another reason that we see that we need to crash one time unit at a time because every time after we crash, the critical path may change. The critical path may, may change. Now, next question is, what if we are facing the problem we have now? We have two critical paths. Now, if we want to crash one more step, we need to crash both path A, B and path E, F. Why? Because if we only crash path A, B, so we reduce the 
path AB time from 23 weeks to 22 weeks. But the path EF time will still be 23 weeks, which means it will be the longest time path, uh, uh, longest path. And although we reduce the path AB from 23 weeks to 22 weeks, the time we spend on EF prevent we reduce the total project time to 22 weeks because its time is still 23 weeks. So if we have multiple critical paths, then we need to reduce the time on every single one of these critical paths together. Otherwise, we cannot reduce the project duration. So what we need to do is we need to reduce the time on path A, B, and path EF at the same time. So same thing, we sort the crashing cost. For path AB, the time to crash A is 11,000, and the price to crashing B raised from 3,000 to 4,000, because it mentioned 3,000 is the first crash cost, and for the rest it will be 4,000. So for path AB, still, activity B has the lower crashing cut, so we crash B for one more week. Now, we similarly look at E and F. The crashing cost for F is 2,000 and for E is 6,000, so it's cheaper to crash F at this time, so we crash F at a cost of 2,000. So to reduce the whole project duration for one more week, we need to crash both activity B and F with a total cost of 6,000. But remember, we will save 12,000 on the project. So we're still making money by doing this crashing. So next, we take a look at a new system. We still have two critical paths, which is A, B, and E, F. But of course, both of them have a pass time of 22 weeks now. But uh, since we have two critical paths, we still need to crash both of these critical paths to reduce the project duration. For path AB, the cost to crash one week is 4,000 on B and 11,000 on A. So if we want to crash AB, it is still cheaper to crash B because the cost is only 4,000. But for E and F, Remember, F has a crashing potential of only one week, which means one week is most that we can crash on activity F. We cannot crash F for two weeks. So after we crash it once, we cannot crash F anymore. What we can do is we crash E. The cost to crash E for one week is 6,000. So if now we want to crash the activity time and uh, reduce the project duration for one more week, we need to crash both activity B and E with a total cost of $10,000. But still, we're making money because for every week we, which we reduced, we save $12,000. Now, the next crash, remember B has a crashing potential of three weeks. Now we have already used all three possible crashes. If we really want to crash, we have to focus on A. But A has a crashing cost of 11,000. E has a crashing cost of 6,000. If we want to crash or reduce the project duration for one more week, then we need to crash activity A and E at the same time. However, the total cost will be $17,000 if we want to crash, but the benefit is only $12,000. So financially, it does not worth doing it because we spend extra money on it. So do not do it. So to summarize, we basically crash the whole project for three weeks. Round one, we crash activity B at a cost of 3,000. Round two, we crash B and F at a cost of 6,000, and round three, we crash B and E at a cost of 10,000. So the total cost 
on crashing in 19,000. And uh, we crashed or we reduced the project time from 24 weeks to 21 weeks. So now if we calculate the total cost of the project, it will be 21 weeks times the $12,000. This is the time, we, uh, the money we spend on the project plus the 19,000 we spend on the crashing activity. This is the process how we crash the activity time to reduce the project duration.